guys, Trucker G here. And Mrs. G. Well, let's talk about uh, conducting yourself in a truck stop. I know it's something that we probably shouldn't have to talk about, but I think it's something that we should we should talk about. Definitely. Because it seems like a lot of people don't don't know the rules. Let's say. Yeah, tracking etiquette. You know, truck truck, truck stop etiquette. There we go. Exactly. You were on the right path. Though. I was. Just <laughs> need a little push. <laughs> uh, you know, when you're pulling in a truck stop to get fuel, get your fuel. Pull forward, get out of the way. Mm-hmm. Usually it takes seven to ten minutes for a guy to get a, a person to get fuel. Mm-hmm. You know, back in the day we used to say fifteen minutes because that's the only thing you could do is log fifteen minute in- in- increments. You know, but usually it's about seven to ten minutes. So if you spend seven to ten minutes getting fuel, you pull forward. The guy behind you is going to take seven to ten minutes to get done getting his fuel. Mm-hmm. Go in, use the restroom, get back out there, move your truck. You know, if you have to get a roller dog, make sure you do it in 7 to 10 minutes. Yeah, just just be quick about things. You know, when 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 it's a real busy truck stop, you know, try to get in and get out. Mm -hmm. I I run a lot of nights, so I understand at night, uh, when you're you're running nights, you don't have as many places to stop and get get something to eat. Yeah. And you can't just park because the truck stop's already full. So I kind of understand that. But be considerate when you do it, you know. Stop, get your fuel. Uh, a lot of times McDonald's has an app. Order it while you're getting your f- fuel. Mm-hmm. Pull forward, run in there. You could already have it paid for on the app. Mm-hmm. Run in there, grab your food, and go. Yeah. Same thing with, you know, a roller dog or whatever whatever you get. If it's a busy truck stop, you might have to circle back around and, and wait again. By no means do I want you to go hungry. No, that's not what we're saying. Or not to use the bathroom or anything like that. It's but just, do everything in a timely manner. It's just all about being considerate to others, you know what I mean? Um, if you can pull out and, and find a parking spot, that's the best best thing to do. Yeah. If there is no parking spots to be had, then I can understand. You know, a lot of times there's a spot right next to the, next to the fuel islands that you can stop for for ten minutes or so. Mm-hmm. Uh, another thing in truck stops is backing. When backing, put your hazards hazards on. Let the other person know you're you're backing up. Mm-hmm. You know, most of us when we set when we set up to back up. We pull. We don't just do it at a straight forty-five. We kind of pull out and and get set up to back in. But you never know who's waiting on you if they understand what you're doing or not. Yeah. So put your hazard lights on. Let them know you're backing up. Another thing is, is when that guy's backing up, shut your headlights off so you're not blinding them. And by all means, if you see somebody struggling, don't film hand. them. Get out and get out and help the guy. Spot for him. Mm-hmm. It helps. Just little things like that. It all boils boils down to just being considerate. Exactly. Have a little patience. You know, when the guy's backing up, just because he's taking a long time and he pulls back forward, don't zip in behind him. Oh, no. Because if you get hit, it's your own fault. Little things like that, guys. Guys, I think that's about about enough of the truck stop etiquette. Use your truck stop manners. It's pretty much common sense. Be considerate of, of others. Use banners. Life would be a whole lot better. You have a good day. Be careful. Safe.